Ladies and gentlemen, today on GBS Engineering, the smart portable oscilloscope. Let's get straight into it. This has been very kindly sent in by Banggood. It comes with a traditional scope probe and also comes with a pair of crocodile or alligator type clips. And it's quite cute. So up to one megahertz. Uh, we'll have a look at all the details, like the sampling frequencies and that kind of stuff in a moment. And obviously there is a Chinglish, um, sorry, a Chinese and English instruction manual. So I thought it'd be quite good fun to test this with one of my Arduino contraptions. It's just basically a little uh, speaker, a little audio um, device, a little synthesizer. And so here is one of my USB-C and USB-A power adapters for an M18, a Milwaukee M18 type battery. And that ultimately will just be powering the Arduino here. And the scope has its own internal battery. As you can see, it's switched on there. If I press and hold the button, it will turn itself off eventually. There we go. Let's just whiz through the manual just very quickly then. So, hi doggo. Hi, you come, have you come to help me again, have you? So there's precautions and safety guidelines about don't put it in a damp place and that kind of thing. Then what we've got here is a description of the buttons and ports. So uh, on the top of the unit here is a, a Type-C charging port. Uh, then on the side of the unit here is a tiny little uh, signal port, um, which is where you plug your scope probes in. Now, the interesting thing about this port uh, and the interesting thing about the scope probes is it's a very specific type of connector. I've not seen any of these connectors around. It's a little bit like a push fit SMA style connector. Um, and that comes on both the standard scope probe and also the crocodile clip scope probe. Unless you can find yourself another one of these connectors somewhere, you are limited to only being able to use these leads that come with the system. And there's a little stand on the back of the unit whilst we're here just looking at it so you can stand it up nicely. Uh, and then there's a bunch of buttons on the front of it. Uh, the oscilloscope features a real-time sampling rate of 8.33 MSASS and a bandwidth of 1 MHz. It can measure voltages of plus minus 400 volts and has a complete triggering functions, single, normal, and automatic. Uh, one button shut down, timer shut down, battery level reminders, and more. Um, and uh, it also has an auto feature, which will be quite interesting to see how that uh, works in a moment and then we've got a voltage reference and a times one and times ten range which is interesting let's see have we got all oh, we do actually on the scope probe we've got a times one and times ten range uh, another thing that's nice about the scope probe is very sort of traditional looking scope probe um, once you've connected this on you've got the little hooky doodah and you can just pop that off and you've got a little pokey doodah all right that's quite cool I'm quite liking that um and then obviously we've got edge triggering and uh, various thresholds and we've got ac coupling and dc coupling so it's got um most of the functions of a standard oscilloscope and for the money i think it's about 30 quid um, then, well, not too bad, all things considered. Let's fire it up. Oh, look at that. Press the button and bang, we're straight in there. Press the run button. Uh, let's just plug, let's just plug a, a lead into the, uh, into the port on the side of here. So slide a lead in. There we go. And if I hold the, uh, the red terminal, if I just stick that in my fingers there and press the auto button, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, there we go. We can see here quite clearly that, uh, We've got a, a, a some kind of waveform, and if I let go of that, there we go. It's just picking up, picking up noise in the general area. In fact, that's likely going to be 50 hertz mains hum. So um, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Check it out. Here is yonder USB battery uh, system. Here is a. Uh, a speaker and a little audio device that I put together some time ago for fun. It's just a little synthesizer on an Arduino. Uh, if we plug that in, oh, there we go. You can probably hear that. That's going to start to get annoying, isn't it? Um, right then, so <laughs> it's going to be the most annoying YouTube video ever. There we go. We're starting to get a stable trigger now. Uh, and let's just, uh, we're on a times, yeah, we're on a times one, 10 microseconds. All of that bing, bing, binging was driving Jack up the wall. Um, so 
Plus, it wasn't a very clear and obvious signal. So I've gone upstairs and got my signal generator and handheld oscilloscope out. Uh, there's nothing coming out at the moment. Uh, that's because I haven't pressed the on button here. Oh, there we go. Now we've got a full screen. So it's uh, automatically found the frequency, uh, but it's not automatically adjusted for the amplitude. So let's just go ahead and adjust the volts per division. <laughs> Look at that! Right, so we have got a 74 kilohertz sine wave. And I tell you what, actually, to be fair, if we look at the uh, Hantec screen, it says here 73.7, uh, nearly 74 kilohertz. Right, well, why don't we cycle through a few different types of waves? Uh, there we go. That's a trapezoidal wave. That's looking reasonably trapezoidal. Um, it's a step wave. Um, all at 75, 74 hertz approximately, an arbitrary wave, oh, ringing waves. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. I tell you what. And finally, a square wave. Um, so we can see here that there's a, a little bit of a, of a curve uh, going on. And um, that, uh, uh, quite, quite a lot of the time, that's down to the fact that the scope probe isn't calibrated so the coupling isn't set correctly on the scope probe let's change it that scope probe and use the official scope probe which is this guy here nice quick release connector there on the on this little device and boom there we go now exactly the same normally these um these probes have like a little uh, uh capacitor that you can tweak to uh, adjust ringing and um smoothing but yeah i mean yeah you, know, you just can't moan 75 kilohertz let's change the frequency let's see uh where we go with this frequency so we're going up in frequency uh we're going now we're achieving um 150 kilohertz let's take it up some more so this is 500 kilohertz now Let's just press the auto button. Bang, look at that. Look at that, it's dialed it in. That's actually quite impressive. Um, so let's continue up the frequency range and let's see what happens. We are now at 700 and let's just press the auto button. Yeah, we're starting to run out of room. So uh, we're at 10 microseconds per division. Oh, we can, we can go five, three. Three microseconds per division is as high as we can go. Um, and from that, uh, are we gonna be able to discern one megahertz? So we're, whoops, right, we've gone past one. <laughs> we just went into three. Right, we're now at approximately one megahertz yeah and it says at the bottom here one megahertz so that is almost one megahertz 951 kilohertz but to be fair for 25 35 quid something like this is really quite useful especially if what you're going to be doing is down in the audio frequencies um this will be absolutely fantastic so i'm just turning that frequency down a little bit here Gonna keep on running down the range now at 100 hertz 90 80 and we'll keep on keep on coming down 50 kilohertz there we go we're back in the audio frequencies now so we're at let's go 10 let's go for 10 kilohertz there you go 10 kilohertz press the auto button and see how it does do like a lovely square wave and that's actually looking pretty good. Uh, 5.12 volts, 50% uh, duty cycle, which is exactly right, and 10 kilohertz. Um, and yeah, I mean, to be fair, you can't moan at that, can you? That is quite an impressive little scope. For the money, this is quite cool. If I switch this guy into scope mode, uh, oof, scope mode here, and we can see... Uh, you know, the display on this is very similar indeed. It's almost the same size of display and a very uh, similar sort of layout and format. Um, it, it's all really easy to understand. If you've used an oscilloscope before, 
it's no biggie. So what are my thoughts on this then? Well, it's a pretty rugged design. I love the fact that it's USB-C rechargeable. The battery seems to last for ages. Uh, I've, I've had it, I've been playing with it for a good couple of hours and we haven't even dropped one cell on the on the battery indicator here. Um, it's a nice stable waveform. I'm not entirely enamored with the fact that we've got this uh, proprietary style connector here. Love a BNC there, but that might add extra expense to the device. Um, uh, it's reasonably accurate. It's showing you all the right numbers. The auto function works. The buttons work. Um, it's it's just a good little device. It's good rugged construction. It's lightweight. I mean, it's an oscilloscope in your pocket. It's great to have something like this kicking around in your toolkit because you never know when you're going to need one. And certainly for the money, it makes absolute sense. Many thanks to Banggood for sending this into us here at Dubious Engineering. Do take care, people. Make sure you give us a good thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next video cheers and beers folks bye for now